reporting on December 1, 2023. Staples recently faced a cyber attack, causing a temporary glitch in their customer support and delivery systems. The company swiftly detected the issue, took proactive steps to tackle it, and is hustling to restore full functionality. While customers might encounter slight delays in their orders, Staples is committed to fulfilling them. Reddit chatter from employees hints at a serious impact, with internal systems, including the corporate VPN, taking a hit. The burning question remains whether any customer data got snagged in the chaos. Staples is keeping details under wraps for now, so stay tuned for the latest on this cyber showdown. The St. John's River Water Management District in Florida faced a cyber attack, implementing successful containment measures. A ransomware gang claimed responsibility, revealing stolen data without specifying the extent. This incident aligns with broader U.S. concerns about cyber threats to water utilities. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency CISA, is addressing the exploitation of Unitronics Programmable Logic Controllers PLCs, linked to attacks on water utilities in Pennsylvania and North Texas. Collaboration between CISA, FBI, NSA, EPA, and the Israel National Cyber Directorate identified the hackers, known as Cyber AV3 Ingers, as affiliated with Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC. They specifically target Unitronics PLCs made in Israel, expressing anti-Israel sentiments. The advisory warns of compromised credentials since at least November 22. Ongoing monitoring and investigations are underway by relevant authorities to address the situation. Stay tuned for updates on this critical cyber threat to water infrastructure. Reporting on 5, 2023. The Guardian has uncovered that Sellafield, the UK's most hazardous nuclear site, has been hacked by cyber groups with ties to Russia and China. Reporting on 5, 2023. The Guardian has uncovered that Sellafield, the UK's most hazardous nuclear site, has been hacked by cyber groups. Reporting on 5, 2023. The Guardian has uncovered that Sellafield, the UK's most hazardous nuclear site, has been hacked by cyber. Reporting on 5, 2023. The Guardian has uncovered that Sellafield, the UK's most hazardous nuclear site, has been hacked by cyber groups with ties to Russia and China. Reporting on 5, 2023. The Guardian has uncovered that Sellafield, the UK's most hazardous nuclear site, has been hacked by cyber groups with ties to Russia and China. Reporting on 5, 2023. The Guardian has uncovered that Sellafield, the UK's most hazardous nuclear site, has been hacked by cyber groups. Reporting on 5, 2023. The Guardian has uncovered that Sellafield, the UK's most hazardous nuclear site, has been hacked by cyber Reporting on 5, 2023. The Guardian has uncovered that Sellafield, the UK's most hazardous nuclear site, has been hacked by cyber groups with ties to Russia and China. Reporting on December 5, 2023. The U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, issues a warning on ongoing cyber attacks exploiting a critical Adobe Cold Fusion vulnerability. 2023 Cape Verde Escudos 26360. Recent incidents in June targeted U.S. federal agency systems, with attackers using malware and remote access trojans. Despite detection and prevention within 24 hours, the agency stresses the need for immediate action. Key recommendations include upgrading cold fusion, implementing network segmentation, firewall protection, and enforcing signed software execution policies. Stay informed and take proactive steps to mitigate the evolving risks in the cybersecurity landscape. Reporting on December 6, 2023. Numerous colleges and K-12 schools, including Henry County schools near Atlanta, are facing ransomware attacks, causing disruptions and data exposure. Henry County schools detected unauthorized access to a network section but managed to protect crucial student and employee systems. Superintendent Mary Elizabeth Davis assured ongoing collaboration with law enforcement and cybersecurity specialists. The incident involved the Black Suit ransomware gang, potentially linked to the Royal Gang. Despite challenges, the district is securely reconstructing its network and gradually restoring services, 
including end-of-semester testing and Chromebook access for students. Reporting on December 7, 2023. Iran-linked hackers allegedly stole over 500 gigabytes of data, including IDF medical records, in a cyberattack on Ziv Medical Center in Safed, Israel. This marks the third cyberattack on the center in four months. The Health Ministry and Israel National Cyber Directorate confirmed the suspected cyberattack but assured the public that it was promptly identified and contained. Fortunately, there was no disruption to the medical center's operations, although some services like email were temporarily disconnected. Stay vigilant out there. Reporting on December 5, 2023. Aldo, a major shoe retailer, recently experienced a ransomware attack by the Lockpick gang, who demanded a ransom by December 25. Fortunately, Aldo clarified that only a franchise partner's systems were affected, not their own. The attack did not impact Aldo's operations, and no customer financial data was compromised. With nearly 3,000 stores globally and over $1.7 billion in annual sales, Aldo emphasized its commitment to robust cybersecurity measures. This incident highlights the persistent threat of ransomware attacks on retailers, a trend seen in over 300 retail organizations in 2021. Nissan, the Japanese carmaker, recently reported a cybersecurity incident affecting its systems in Australia and New Zealand. Nissan hasn't disclosed the impact on its operations and potential access to personal information. Nissan is actively working to restore its systems and has informed relevant security authorities. They advise customers to stay vigilant for unusual activities, hinting at a potential data breach. This follows a previous warning in January about a possible leak of customer information through a third-party vendor. Cyberattacks on car companies, as seen with Toyota in November, highlight the ongoing threat to the automotive industry, with stolen data often surfacing on the dark web. Reporting on December 8, 2023. In a recent cyberattack during the Thanksgiving holiday, the Greater Richmond Transit Company, GRTC, managing the Central Virginia Transit System, faced a network disruption. While specific applications and parts of the network were temporarily impacted, the IT team swiftly restored functionality. Third-party specialists are investigating the incident's nature and scope. Despite claims from the Play Ransomware gang, demanding an undisclosed ransom by December 13, all services are currently running as scheduled, and GRTC anticipates no further disruptions. The spokesperson did not disclose whether it was a ransomware attack or if any data was compromised. This incident highlights the ongoing challenges in cybersecurity for critical infrastructure.